where does TRT fall short in improving mental health from a psychological standpoint? So welcome back to the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And today we have two guests and that's Dr. Rudolf Eberwein. Welcome, Rudy. Good to see you again. And Dave Lee, welcome back, Dave. Thanks for having me again. Today we're talking about uh, psychedelics and um, hormone optimization. So the first question was, where does TRT fall short in improving mental health from a psychological standpoint? So, uh, Dr. Rudy, you go ahead. Yeah, so, so I can start with this. It's, so, so to me, that, that's a subject that I'm very passionate about. Because, you know, we, we talk a lot about testosterone optimization and there's still the stigma and the misconception that testosterone is only for muscles and for sex. People don't realize that testosterone is one of the most important psychoactive hormones and that it really helps with the brain, neurotransmitters. Actually, testosterone does activate the, the 5-HT2A, the serotonin receptors, the same receptors that antidepressants and psychedelics work on. So when I see a lot of the patients in my clinic, one of their main complaints, especially on my younger guys, it's a decreased mood, decreased ability to take pleasure in what they used to have, a decreased motivation, anhedonia, uh, feeling flat. And a lot of times when they go to their primary care doc, the first reflex of the conventional doctors is to put them on antidepressants. Whereas if we go to the root cause, a lot of times if testosterone is not adequate, the better treatment is to replace testosterone. And for me, testosterone is never in a silo. Testosterone always comes with good diet, exercise, and with optimization of hormones, we get a lot of results. But that said, it's always stacking. A lot of guys we see, we bend them on testosterone, we improve their nutrition, they start exercising, they get great improvement, but sometimes there are still some trauma or some issues, some self-defeating thoughts, some short-circuited thoughts that can still not get them to their optimal self. And that's where now we have psychedelic as another tool to really get to the next level of uh, mind, body, and spirit optimization. All right, Dave? Yeah, I think that's a fantastic introduction. I think that, I think testosterone is, if there was a panacea for men's mental health, which there's not, and testosterone's not, but if it was, I think testosterone is the closest thing. Um, when we look at what we generally would be looking for from an antidepressant treatment for a man, it's a lot of things that testosterone does in the brain. And one thing I think we should look at when we're looking at testosterone is going, okay, well, what are its neurosteroidal properties? So what does testosterone do? What does DHT do in terms of how does it influence neurotransmitters? And then how does that influence our behavior? And I think one of the most damaging things for men is the period before they correct their hypogonadism, where they've had a prolonged period of this low androgenic state, which makes them very susceptible to the psychological effects of stress. Um, and it also, as Rudy was saying, it removes a lot of the reward for doing pleasurable or motivating behaviors. So when you're in a situation like this and you're going to the gym and it feels bad and exercising feels stressful and everything that you're wanting to take on feels like it's too much and it's too hard and you just can't get going and you get paralyzed by this uh, this fear of, of, of what you can't do, you then become depressed and anxious because you can see that you're wasting your potential and you get stuck. And I think that when you look at what testosterone can do, it's not going to be the thing that's going to act like a massive stimulant that will get you off the couch and just, you know, immediately tackling your to-do list. But I think it can set you up in a way that it will dispose you more towards the things that you should be doing and potentially away from the things you shouldn't be doing. And then I think if you can use that as part of, a, I guess, a holistic intervention with, with having intent around... I guess, taking on the behaviors that will make you into the man that you want to be. And I think a lot of the time when guys go on TRD, it's because they want to be better men or they want to be more masculine, whatever that means to them subjectively. And I think when we look at what it takes to get there, it's time, but that's because time is required for people to do the work that needs to be done. And I think the amazing thing about psychedelics being offered as a treatment is that it can make people aware of the things they need to do. Um, I think that's one of the most powerful things from psychedelics. It can show you the things that are in the way that are stopping you from being who you could be or who you want to be. And there are different psychedelics which will do different things and more suitable towards trauma or more suitable towards 
creativity and inspiration more suitable to different experience levels. But the amazing thing is that when you look at what testosterone can do as a foundation, the self-work, when we look at things like exercise, mindfulness, meditation, psychedelics, nutrition, all these different factors, it's like the foundation is laid for you to be able to really get the most out of all these interventions and ultimately heal whatever needs to be healed. Right. Completely. You, you know, something that's interesting for me is, is when you look at behavior for, for humans in general and for men, we're talking more men's health. You know, you can see a guy that, that's, a, a, you know, as you said, masculine men, whatever that, that means, or very self-motivated, a, a leader. And you can see they may change. And when you look, you do a hormonal panel. If you have low testosterone or abnormal thyroid, so that's where you see that behavior is not fixed. Uh, we are only as strong as our hormones. So you can get the most self-motivated, more positive man that always has achieved peak performance in his life. You give him low thyroid or low testosterone, and he becomes a completely different person. So our behavior, although we think we may have control over it, our behavior are guided mostly by our hormones. So once I made that link together, it made me realize first, it humbled me because it made me realize everybody can go and become a victim of those hormonal problems, especially in our toxic world with the endocrine disrupting chemicals that we have. So a lot of times guys may go through something and then they internalize that shame and that fit, that guilt that, you know, cause, cause men culture is always men up. You can do it. Just, just, yes, you can do it. Don't look for help. Sometimes it is physiologically impossible. So until you get the ground of the good hormonal health, you're not able to go to the next level. 